another week, another weekly reset. This is the weekly reset for what's happening this week in Warframe across stuff like Nightwave, Tessian, etc., so on, so forth. There will be time codes if you want to skip to a certain section. But before that, I would like to mention that I have another YouTube channel that I've been trying to get up and running. I even have a new banner for that channel. Feel free to check it out. There will be a link in the description below. It's called I Technically. It focuses on, sits on video editing as well as technology. Yes, a weird blend of both software and hardware as it were. But without further ado, let's get into the whole weekly reset. And we'll start with none other than Nightwave. Okay, so we have, first we have Earth Bounty Hunter. Complete five different bounties in the Plains of Eidolon. Then we have mine six rare gems or ore in the Plains of Eidolon. We have complete three Void Flood mission. Now for this you'll have to have completed the Angels of the Zaymon quest, I believe, in order to actually do Void Flood missions at all. And then complete eight zones of Sanctuary Onslaught. Elite Sanctuary Onslaught also counts. Catch six rare server fish in the Ovalis. Kill or capture an Eidolon Hydralis. That's the third Eidolon, so what you'll have to do is you'll have to capture the first Eidolon, then capture the second Eidolon, then you'll be able to capture or kill the third Eidolon and whatnot. And then finally we have killed the Exploiter Orb. I will not be doing either one of these. Probably won't even be doing this one. If I'm being perfectly honest, I might do some of these stuff. We shall see. We shall see about that. Let's look at credit offerings while we're here. Corrosive projection. Definitely a pickup. 100%. No questions asked. I guess you can do physique if you really want to. And the rest of meh at best. Except for the dead eye and scavenger, those, yeah, okay. Anyway, moving on. These are alternate helmets, as well as some alternate skins for certain weapons. And then finally we have, this is how you get Vauban. These are fully built Orkin Cadillacs and Orkin Reactors. So if you buy them, they won't be just the blueprint. They will be fully built. And now, without further ado, when I see what Hologram Tessian has to offer. Now, this option might not be available to you if you don't have him completed. Or rather, the Steel Pass unlocked. I have a whole video explaining how to unlock the Steel Pass. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Veiled Riven Cipher. He always had that, but only once per week. And this week he had the Rifle Riven Mod for 75 Steel Essence. I need to get more Steel Essence. I used to get more Steel Essence all the time, but then I just kind of stopped doing that all that much. No, see, I spent all my Steel Essence on Relic Packs. For Wisp Prime, which I still think was worth every single Steel Essence it cost me. Now, let's see what the circuit has to offer. You can get Siren, you can get Vauban, you can get Nova. I would not recommend Vauban. 
at Volavi to feel new to the game because you can get Fobon through Nightwave unless you really want to save your credits in which case you can go for Vauban again I guess I personally would recommend Siren because yeah I'd personally recommend and I think that would be the right way to, way to go, if I'm being honest. And now as for Steel Path. For the Steel Path, you can choose between all of these. I'll be honest, I still don't know which ones I chose before or not. I wish there was a thing, but... For better or worse, I chose these. They might be the same ones as before. I don't know. I could one day just have billions of adapters. But who knows? Who knows? Now, let's check out Archon Hunt. Okay, the reward is going to be an Amber Shard. You should know the drill by now, but in case you don't, it starts at 20%. If you... Don't get a Talfor Shard, it goes up by 20%. If you get a Talfor Shard, it resets to 20% or stay the same if you're lucky enough to get a 20%. Once it hits 100%, you're guaranteed a Talfor Archon Shard. And as for the Archon Hunt, Exterminate, Disruption, and the Shaolin, I mean, Archon Showdown. And last but not least, we have Cause Garrison. Let's see what the Chipper has to offer, shall we? Chipper had the Crimson Archon shot. Now, what to the why this cannot be how for it, but it is a Crimson Archon shot. Maybe you want to pick it up anyway. Maybe you don't need no stinking Tau for shot. Let me know in the comment section below. And I guess we'll do this because it's become like a weekly ritual at this point, but call. Call is the same for me right now because in order for call to have a new mission you have to have completed the mission for the previous week at least once otherwise it would just stay indefinitely i kind of wish they would change this because i feel because right now as it stands you basically have to run the mission a mission you don't care for or never run call mission again because it will always be that mission so yeah not really a big fan of that but i digress i'm going to end it up here hopefully this has helped you in some way shape or form and with that said i will catch you guys in the future later